This is Project Mecha Bevo. He is a hexapedal walking robot, fully steerable, with one singular drive motor and one steering servo. What's unique about this robot is that the steering is fully controlled by mechanical linkages that use a single servo to adjust the stride length on one side versus the other. So to make a hard right turn, for example, like is going on right now, it shortens the stride length on one on the right side and lengthens the stride length on the left side. Here it is about to make a left turn, shortening the stride length on the left side, lengthening the stride length on the other side. That's done with a six bar mechanism that moves a grounded joint in the actual eight bar leg individual mechanism that I can get into later. And by moving the relative position of one of the joints in the leg mechanism, it actually changes the stride length. So this robot is fully steerable with only one drive motor and one steering motor. My colleague Tyler did a lot of the mechanical design and modeling of this robot, but a brief overview here of how it works is the single main drive motor down here drives this belt, which then through two other belts drives this shaft, this shaft, and this shaft, all mechanically linked to drive in phase at the same speed. So all six legs are driven by this one motor and they're in phase with each other. So they never get out of step, so to speak. It's always one step per cycle on all six legs at all times. And the center legs are 180 degrees out of phase with the outer legs on each side and then left versus right they're also 180 degrees out of phase so what that means is that at all times there's three feet on the ground in kind of a triangle shape so you'll have this one this one and this one stepping with each other and then you'll have this one this one this one stepping with each other. So at any given time, there's at least three feet on the ground, which makes it passively stable. There's always the COG is roughly in the center of the contact points with the ground. And then the secondary system, the steering servo is right here. So when the steering servo rotates, the central steering shaft pulls these arms up on one side and pushes them down on the other side. And these have ball joints at their ends. And then what those do is they move these long bars up on one side, down on the other. And that's kind of a six bar mechanism where it rotates about this little short arm on a fixed hinge point there. And then there's a similar hinge arm here and here. And so what those do is they change the position of this grounded joint, which there's one of for each of the six legs. So within the leg mechanism, the position of this joint stays in the same point for the duration of its entire foot travel. But as it moves up and down, that's what alters the gait length. And you can look at the some of the details in the text on the website. My colleague Connor did some excellent analysis on the path of that actual stride as a function of the position of this point. And that's really what drives our steering overall. Oh my god. All the way left? All the way left. Wait, that's so much better. Oh, that's oh, oh that mo dude, that like next to the motor is like dying. Yeah, it's fine. Oh yeah, it stretches. Oh man. <laughs> Mechabevo is operated by a typical RC transmitter with one channel 
running the uh, steering servo and the other channel running the forward and reverse throttle on the main drive motor. Cool. Following this clip of Mechabevo's first ever steps, my colleague Connor is going to explain a little bit more about how the walking mechanism actually worked in practice. Alright, so here's our robot. Um, notice that when we turn our remote here, we get actuation on this ball joint fixture to move our six bars. And that'll change our gates on our legs. So if we run it forward um, in the normal position, um, we see that roughly they're walking the same distance. But then when we start to turn, you can see that one leg, the leg on the far right now, is walking a short distance, and the leg in front right now is walking a long distance. And then when we switch, we can see a short stride on the front leg and a long stride on the back leg. And so yeah. Here's a two time scale prototype we made to experiment with the actual gate path, tracing it with a marker. That little short arm you can see in the top left is the driven one, and that point on the cross in the middle is the adjustable one. This is the custom 3S2P battery pack that I made for this robot. Here's the control mechanism being tested in action, the gear motor and the servo. Here's the Arduino Uno in its 3D printed enclosure. This is the L298N motor driver chip, also had a 3D printed enclosure. That's the custom little shield I made with connectorized solder joints for everything. The acrylic structural components, all laser cut out and the legs, the joints were low friction washers with bolts and Delrin spacers. Here it goes demonstrating about the best turning radius we ever achieved with this robot. A solid uh, two foot radius, about a four foot diameter. And that concludes the summary of this project. Thank you for watching.